Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Ready, set. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. Ready, ready. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader, teams went 43-6 and six while he was in college. Has speed, dual threat ability, and production off the charts while he was in school and also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little game. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Robinson will try to pick it up, and he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And now the ball's out, fumble near midfield. Wow, that ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson, 12 carries, 64 yards. He comes into this one right ninth in the NFL in rushing. I think that every member of that offense knows exactly where he sits. You can see it from every one of them out there. They're all fully committed to making this a game where he really breaks free and climbs a couple of spots. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. Ritter will set up to throw it. Got his man, it's Deutsch. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and two. Robinson, he'll try the left side. A nice move. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards there and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand. And he lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they can keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense right. and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. Here's second and five now from the 22. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's an 11 yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. They go play action here on first down. He's got his man. It's right. A big play there. And even 40 yards. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Now they go screen, it's complete. They can't tackle it. <laughs> and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Second and ten. 
Durant on the coverage. Now a handoff running through the middle. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they will finally catch him, but not before he gets it to the 11. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15, and it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there. Now to punt here on fourth down. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. And he's made the most of it to this point. That's caught left side by Bellamy. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. Shot. Touchdown. A big play there. Now a play fake here on first down. And he completes it to Bellamy. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the third before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets it down to the 32. Still a few inches short of the first down as they come up now on second down. It's caught. This is right. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. He'll drop to throw. Fighting through. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Need to send this one away. They try and bring the pressure, but he still gets off a good one. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Being chased out left. There's a nice move. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. From the 46, here's second and four. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's taken down inside the 30. They're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Looking for White on the deep ball. And this is caught at the 20. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. Understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. A nice little juke. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one, picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. He shakes him off. Forced out to his left. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. 
Dance into his left. Nifty move. Pushes past him. This time a spin. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Picked at second down now. They'll look to throw here. Steps away to his left. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And they're going to speed things up here. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 30-yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man there, that's Bellman. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's got this complete to Bellamy. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first. And you got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Number 38. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 22-yard line. Shifts by at the 15. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 143 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try to run this one in, and they are going to score again. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. They run again here with Gray. Oh, good move. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level. A new season of NFL football is here, and we're all in 2023 on EA Sports. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So the Charger offense making its way out, and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. 
The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert, who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Now Herbert. And some room to run now. Inside the 20. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this... Running on first down, Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Room here to run. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Once more, here's Eckler. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, the guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. Eckler is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. The Miami defense try to keep him out. They haven't let him in yet. Can they hold again here on third and goal? Go. Try to punch it in with Eckler. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of three to bring up four. And his kick is indeed good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And for this young rookie making his first NFL start, a moment he's been waiting for since draft day. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll run on second down with Blue. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. And they can't bring him down. And he's got this down to the 35. First, back to throw. He's got his man. It's White. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A really good pickup of 28 yards. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great play. There. Now J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And he'll take this in at the one-yard line. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Okay, so roughing the passer, and I've got to imagine that's the last Automatic thing you want to down. see week one is your quarterback taking an unnecessary hit. I think you're exactly right about that. You hate it any week, but boy, are you on target. This is again, just depending on him to take him through 17 games, so you definitely can't let him get hurt right now. Facing a second and six from the eight. He'll buy some time right. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. McDaniel, who's going to Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. Oh, pressure comes, and the Dolphins block it. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. A great effort. The drive starts with a run by Blue. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They go again with Blue. And he's able to get up here to the 26. This offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Still going. Inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Dolphins are able to add on to their first half lead. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. 
I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. Entered yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They'll try and throw for it here. That's caught left side by Bellamy. And he will have a Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they get five there on fourth and three. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Fighting to stay up. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Now he's loose at the 40. Now look out. He's to the 20. Oh, some strong running. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And that's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll rifle this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great... They begin with a carry for Blue. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. That ball caught. It's Rice. He's across midfield. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Able to slither by. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Jersey as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score, and a lot of times we use the term blowout for a lopsided ball game. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. Now he's loose again. He's on his way. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there. Touchdown, and the Dolphins. They start the drive with a give to Blue. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 
On first down, it's blue. Oh, he shifts past him. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. On the move to his left. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. On play action, they'll throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. A great play there. Up the middle, they run with Gale Sayers. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. Escapes the sack. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll look to throw here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They'll try and pound it in with Sayers. And they are going to score again. Yet another. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Takes it to about the 37. That shot doesn't connect, but I don't think it'll dissuade them from attempting another one. On third down, they run with Blue. A little juke. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. They'll try and run again with Blue. Sheds off the tackle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They'll run up the middle here with Blue. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They go with Blue between the tackles. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one.